Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, class. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Perfectly. Okay, good. Let's wait for the rest of the classmates, okay? Good. Bienvenidos. Okay. How are you? How was your day? Fine, thank you. Okay, good. Good night. Okay, good. Vamos a esperar a los demás. Good evening. Vanessa, who else is here? Can you see me fine? Okay. Yes, I can see you, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay. Good evening. So, let's, uh, Diana, let's see. And then the rest of the class. How many people? Let me see. So let's see, Adriana, Eduardo. Eduardo, are you here? The yes, sir. All right, good. And Vanessa, right? Okay. Yes. So how was your day? Que tal su día? How was your day so far? Good? How's your, How's your day, class? It was good. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, so let's make a quick review of what we saw yesterday. De lo que vimos ayer, object and subject pronouns, okay? Very good. So, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso, okay? Okay, what do you, do you remember about the yesterday's class? Who, that, which, right? What else yes. did we see? What else do you remember? What did we talk about? We are talking about uh, some people or some person. You can okay. That or who, Very but if, if, it's, if it's object, you can use which or that. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, good. So we're going to bring a practice. Vamos a hacer una práctica de un solo. Okay. We're going to do. We're going to do a practice at once. Okay. No, los demás se van a incorporar después. Hello, Mike. Always in the dark, right? Hello, David. Siempre no oscuro ahí, ¿verdad? Very good, okay. So let's see. Okay, can you tell me uh, if it's, uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah, I yeah. can see. No, not right now. I'll leave the one. Now, right? Yes. Right? Everybody can see my screen? Yes. Perfect, okay. Yes. So let's complete the sentence with who or which. Very good. Welcome, Jose. My case is not yet, but the sign is a little bit wrong here in my name. Let's see, since Adriana fue la primera, one of the first, oh, yes. Adriana, can you do the first, the first sentence? A, complete the sentences okay. with who or which. Okay. I met a girl who likes like you. Okay. I met a girl, I'm sorry, can you repeat? Yes, I met a girl who la who looks like you. Very good. Yes, who looks like you. Okay, that's right. All right, good. So we're un we're using two sentences. Very good. Eduardo Ponce, number two. Okay, uh, this is the car which uh, cost me a fortune. Okay, only pronunciation. How do we pro this is the car? 
which cost me a fortune. Very good. Fortune. Everybody repeat fortune. 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 That's right. Fortune. fortune. Like, what is a fortune? A lot, a lot, a lot of money. Very good. Money. Okay. This is the car which cost me a fortune. That cost me a fortune. Very good. Fortune. Okay. Fortune. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Mike, number three. Number three, Mike, are you there? Who can help me with number three? I didn't see the voice that broke the window. Very good, I didn't see the voice that broke the window. All right, I didn't see the voice that broke the window, okay? Good, okay. Uh, Mr. Herbert Cortez, number four. Hello. Okay, number four. These are the flowers um, that grow in my garden. Okay. Yes. In this case, we, we, there's a little bit of passive voice, but we haven't gone into it. Okay. In that case, who can answer that question? That grow. Maybe we can say grow, G R O W, but we have the verb grown. In the case, we want to see present passive. If we want to use the correct structure, but it's not that important, but that's correct. These are the flowers. Who can help me uh, with that? Equivalent to que, que nacen, que crecen. Very good. Like a passive voice. We can also say these are the flowers that, that are grown. But it's fine. These are the flowers that grow in case we want to eliminate the end. Because we're using the we're using the passive voice structure, but very good. Okay, so these are the all right. That, that so in this case we can say these are the flowers that grow. We want to do that, which is correct. These are the flowers that grow. But if you want to use a specific passive voice, okay, in this case. These are the flowers that are in the Wrong. verb has to go in the past participle, which is grown. Very, very good. That are grown. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Number five. Who let the dogs out? Very good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mike, can you help me out with five, please. Mike, you there? Lost them again. <laughs> All righty. Mr. Jose Armando, number five. Yes, that is the dog who bite my sister. Okay, the dog, even though it's an animal, we can say who bit my sister, or we can also say, okay, that bit my sister. Right? That. Mm -hmm. Okay, good one. Ms. Saldivar, number six. I know the woman. Susanna. Who? Susanna. I know the woman who uh, is sitting next to you. Very good. I know the woman who is sitting next to you. Very good. Mm -hmm. I know the woman who is sitting next to you. Correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do the next exercise, okay? Very good. Write definitions, follow the example. Mr. Franco, can you read number one, the example, and then also try to do number two, please. Okay. Uh, see, ma'am, that word is a ship. See, ma'am, it's someone that, uh, see, ma'am, it's someone who works in a ship. Much better, I can hear you better now, okay? A seaman, right? Or in that case, we don't usually use seaman, but you know, it's obviously somebody who works, or we can also say, for example, a fisherman, or we can say a captain, not only a seaman, very good, similar. Okay. All right. Erica. Uh, I have a question. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Hi, good night. 
Well, actually, Eric, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. I told Mr. Uh, Franco he was also going to do number two. Yes, I jumped. Okay, do number two, please. A pilot flies back home in this case, how would the sentence be? A pilot is someone who drives. A pilot. A pilot is someone. Is someone. Correct is is someone uh, who who flies an airplane. Very good. Who flies airplanes or who fly, who flies an airplane? That's correct. Airplane. Airplanes and shooting stars. Correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Frank. Okay, Erica. Number three, please. Okay. A mechanic is someone who operates and repairs machine. Okay. The only thing, what is the pronunciation for that? Mechanic. Ah? Mechanic. 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 Yes. Ah, Mechanic. Me, the CH sounds in English is like ka. Yes. Mechanic. 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 A mechanic is someone. Someone. Operate and repairs machines. That's right. Repairs. And repairs. Repair. That's Repair. right. Eight, yes, that's right. Okay. Okay, that's very good. Okay. Mr. Chavez, number four. A lawyer is someone who represents clients in a court of law. Very good. A lawyer and a liar, right? A lawyer. Uh, Lawyer. Lawyers? Okay. Lawyer. Kind of the same. The same, okay. Huh? What's another <laughs> word for lawyer? What's another word for lawyer? Uh, give me a hint. I'll give you a I'll give you a clue. And another synonym for lawyer. Who can give, who can complete the, that? What is another uh, word for lawyer? Advocate, something like that. Advocate would be not necessarily someone. I can advocate for somebody. Somebody, I can I can be like, you know, advocate. Well, I will call for An attorney. Some, very good. Who said that? Price. <laughs> very good, okay. Come to attorney, correct. Mm -hmm. It's much mm -hmm. formal. An attorney. An attorney. Mm -hmm. attorney. An attorney. Is something that is used more in the in the in the legal aspect. The attorney and more written and lawyers more common. Okay, not in a lawyer, but an attorney. It's a notario. And no, a notario would be a notary public. Okay. Abogado. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's public notary. Yeah. Yes. An attorney. An attorney is also synonymous, no más que es más formal, it's more formal. Okay? Okay? For example, cuando lo hará, alguien ha visto las películas, ¿de cuál es el dicho? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, the court one will provide it to you. And they take your hands off, right? <laughs> yes. Yo he visto. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> Hey, what you say, man? What you <laughs> right, Mike? Very good. Okay. All righty. Number four. Okay. Uh, Ms. Navarro. I don't know if she participated. Can you do number number six? I'm sorry. Number, number six. Uh -huh. a, civil a, civil engineer, a civil engineer is someone who plans and supervises of construction. Very good. Civil engineer. Is someone, someone who plans? Mm -hmm. Someone who da da da. Bien, el complemento. Very good. Okay. Alrighty. Good job. Okay. Caesar. Caesar the Great. Hi. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. 
Summer seven, see sir. Okay, an architect is someone who designs buildings and other structures. Very good. Si usted se fija, when we, when we pronounce mechanic, it was at the mid, at the mid. an architect, arch, or yes, so the same pronunciation, repeat architect. Architect. Arch architect, mechanic. So an architect is someone who, right, right, who what? Designs, Designs buildings. Creates, Another verb, right? Who, Another structure. Okay, very good. Okay, Mr. Cuevas, que está ya, very good. Chilling in the background. Lo saqué de su cueva. Very good. Okay. Exercise number uh, C. The instructions and do the number one. Okay, join the sentences with a relative pronoun. Okay. I know. I know the girl. She is wearing blue jeans. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the girl. Who is? I'm sorry, guys. I was just going to leave it there. Very good. I know the girl. I know the girl. Who is wearing blue jeans? Very good. Can Can I use that? Yes, For example, can. I know yes. the girl. That no. Or, or yes. Yes, we can. Ah, okay. The only thing that who is more formal and that is more general. Yeah, but we can use we can use that for person, places, or things, and we can use who only for persons. It depends. Sometimes we can use it for animals if we give an animal a proper name. Okay, like firulai. Mm -hmm. I know a firulai who eats ten tortillas. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have? Do you know firulai? Do you know firulai? No. Okay. Why are you guys so serious today, man? What's going on? Mama, I go to eat. Why are you all so serious, man? It's Thursday, Friday, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mike over there in the dark and stuff. I can't see him. I got you. Yes, he's all dark out. Very good. Okay. Number two. All righty. This is the shop. It sells, it sells cheap skateboards. Okay. Uh, I don't like skateboards myself, but anyway, very good. Okay. All right. Uh, Volunteer who's been being quiet. Er, er, Eric already gave me an example. Very good. Okay. Uh, very good. All right. Uh, let's do it. Uh, number two. Okay. Volunteers. Open or anybody who's there. This is the shop. It sells cheap skateboards. This is the shop. This is the shop. That sells cheap skateboards. That sells. Very good. That's correct. This is the shop. That sells. All right. Can uh, I, can I, also, can I, can I use I, with? Yes. <laughs> exactly what to you're going to say. Question. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah, maybe in that shop, the skateboard is cheap. This is the shop that or which sells. I don't know if this was your question. Mm -hmm. On what form? Okay, tell me. Just what order? Tell me, okay, for example, what what other form? In, uh, in, that, in that shop? The objective chip after uh, the skateboards. The, the skateboards are, are cheap. Yeah, that's what. It's the uh, uh, this is the shop which that which or that sells cheap for skateboards or this is the shop okay or this is the shop okay like changing like passive to active voice or something like that okay yes we can do that yeah, uh, yeah without complicating yourself right now we're going to slowly eventually are sold in there. this shop shop Okay. I don't know if that was the question, but anyway, we're going to come. If you have any questions, just ask me. Okay, at the end. We're just going to do this three more because we have a new topic today, adjectives. We're going to talk about qualities and adjectives of people. Okay, uh, let's see. The people work in a shop. They are very nice.
They help me. The people who works in a shop, who work in a shop are very nice. No, no, is that true? Would you agree with that statement? Some, uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, that's right. You can be happy all the time, right? You can be nice all the time, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I work for customer service besides teaching English, and believe me, right, Mike? I told Mike today I had a stressful day. Sometimes you're, thank you for calling, you're very nice, but sometimes, you know, you, I mean, you can be rude, but sometimes, you know, it's just hard to be nice all the time. Okay. For sure. <laughs> Jane gave me a book. It's about vampires. Okay. Jane. Yes. Gave me a book. Gave me that, a book. That, that, that is about. Is Since it's a book, it's an object. Yeah. We can use that. You know, or which. Which. Okay. Which is about, about, about vampires. Vampires. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. I'm gonna send this to you so you can work. Oh, well, we're almost finished with this. We're gonna send this to you so you can continue working with this, okay? Thank you. We're gonna, okay? We're gonna, yes. Okay. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about, I'm gonna have another topic for you today, okay? We're gonna ask for the platform, okay? Give me a minute. Okay, Mike, I'm sorry I hadn't read, I hadn't read your message. No wonder Mike wasn't answering. He was having internet options, okay? Thank you. Okay, so today, guys, we're gonna work. <clears throat> we're gonna look at a new topic, okay? Which has to do with, basically, ad with personality adjectives, okay? All right, uh, wanna refer to the platform? Give me one quick second. I want to make sure that you guys know that I'm following the platform. Okay. Give me one quick second. All right. Okay. So I'm going to give you an adjective and you give me the, you give me a, I'm going to see the, the opposite. Okay. So we can actually start looking at the, we can actually start looking, all right? So if I tell you serious, what would be what would be the opposite of somebody who is serious? Happy. Happy. Happiness? Happy. Okay. Because I'm happy, like the song. Very good. Okay. Happy. Very good. All right. Uh, angry. Happy too. <laughs> happy. <laughs> happy, very good, okay. All right, I'm gonna ask you a question. What are you like? What are you like? How do you consider yourself? I know it's hard because some people, it does, they consider us, but what are you like? Oh, sorry guys, I accidentally hit this. I accidentally hit this, all right. So the question I want you guys to focus is, what are you like? Repeat, what are you like? What, what are you are like, you guys? Like? What, are you? what do you consider yourself like? What are you like? Okay, well, Larry. Um, happy, are you a happy? Do you think you're a happy person? Uh, serious? I mean, in my, okay. In my case, it depends on the situation or the my my group of friends or, or my work. Okay. If I am with a uh, funny uh, people, I am uh, a little toxic, but it depends on the situation. Okay. Good. So in this case, what are you like? What are they like? Okay, different people. Okay, different. Okay, that's, so that's gonna be our objective, okay? We're gonna talk about different personalities and traits, okay? 
I don't put the video because you have this in your platform. I'm going to focus on the grammar, okay, more than anything. So we're going to talk about personalities and adjectives, okay? All right. So we're going to describe this. Uh, since we are, we don't, we didn't listen to the video. I have something for you, which we're actually going to start. We're going to, we're going to actually do right now. Okay. I have a worksheet for you to practice some. All right. One second, we'll do this. Okay, so. All right, guys, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to make it bigger. Okay, so what are the characteristics, right? We can use a a prefix or we can just use a, we can actually just try to use a negative. The prefix is something that goes always before, right? You know, some, a prefix would be something that goes like, sometimes we have on, we have re, okay? we have in and so on, okay? But it doesn't always apply. So ambitious, okay, ambitious, all right? What would be the, the opposite of, of, an, of an ambitious person? Can you say unambitious? <laughs> or can you say, what comes to your mind? Well, first of all, how would you, disc how would you define Adriana, somebody who is ambitious? How would you define an ambitious person? A person who is always... Mm -hmm. Sorry. Who is First. always uh, looking for more, not only money, for new knowledge or new material things. Okay. Is, um, is, is that bad or good? It depends. It, it is depends, excessive. Of course. It depends. It's okay. Very bad. good. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So can we use a prefix in this one? Can we say, um, can we use any other prefix before to make it positive? Or can we just say the opposite of ambitious? What could be the positive, the opposite of ambitious? Who can give me an example? Do you wanna, you want an example of the opposite of ambitious? Yes. yes, of the adjective, yes. Someone who is lazy? Okay. That would be the extreme. That's correct. But not only it has to be the extreme. We can say somebody who is always a uh, conformist. Very good. Uh -huh. more, more like conformist. Very good conformist. Okay. Or who is also very good. Mm -hmm. Very good, ambitious, or he he is okay. He is pretty much um, not. He's correct, conformist. I would say more like comfortable. Not comfortable. in the sense, not in the sense that he is comfortable like I am, but in the sense okay. of life, you can be more comfortable. Okay, he's comfortable where he's at. He doesn't need to be any more ambitious. Mm -hmm. Comfort area. Comfortable, comfortable, very good, okay? Good, anyway guys, what I want you to start thinking is the personal characteristics, okay? In some case, unambitious, you can also see, I'll leave it for home, you tell me if that's correct. Ambitious, if we can say, can we say unambitious? I don't, do I don't. Let me know. Okay. Reliable. What? How would you define a reliable person? Reliable. Reliable. I'm sorry. I, I see your Windows Explorer. Uh, you show us a um, document or, or or some example. For. 
Oh, okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, but the Windows Explorer. The oh, open okay. isn't opened. Teacher, we, we see uh, the binder. Not your, <laughs> not your document. You see what, I'm sorry? Uh, your binder. I'm, I'm seeing some documents, like um, okay, a flash drive. Okay, okay, gotcha. Um, How about now? Now, now, yes. Different, very different. Perfect. Okay. Ambitious, lazy, comfortable, reliable. Reliable. This one we can use the un to make a negative, a prefix, which would be un. Unreliable. Very good. Un, reliable. Okay. Reliable. Another, another one. That's the opposite of reliable. Again, confiable would be. Liar. Liar. Or independent, or better yet. Mm -hmm. Distrustful. I'm sorry. Distrustful. We can also say irresponsible, right? Okay. Honest. What is the opposite of honest? Dyer is honest. Very good. I heard somebody say, it. yes, you can say he's a very dishonest person. A robber. <laughs> <laughs> a thief, yes, okay. Uh, okay. Honest or very good, untruthful. Somebody who always tells lies, untruthful, honest, is honest. Okay. okay. Punctual. What would be the, the opposite of punctual? Punctual. Mm -hmm. Punctual. Very good. Unpunctual. Unpunctual. Okay, another one. What else? Irresponsible. Yeah, irresponsible. A lot of them can repeat, okay? All right. Competent. Incompetent. Very good. Competent. Incompetent. I'm gonna send these guys to you, incompetent. incompetent. It's actually with the name. Competent. I'm sorry guys, incompetent. Competent. Somebody who is confident. What will be the, the opposite? Distrustful. I'm sorry? I'm trustful. I don't know. I can say distrustful. Distrustful. I'm confident. Seguro de si. Somebody who's confident. Okay. Distrustful. Okay. Distracted. Okay. But that's more like this right? Something like that. Okay. Creative. What is the opposite? I'll set his mind. <laughs> okay. We can actually say. We can say, very good, creative. The opposite would be someone who is. Uh, yeah, well, you can use the verb mind, okay? I'm creative. These are prefix, guys, okay? Or, or basically, uh, you can just say I'm creative, or there's another word, just skip the, 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 the tongue. Uh, you can just say, no create, I'm creative, no creativity, okay? Loyal, what is somebody who is loyal? 
Unloyal. Prefix, unloyal. What else? Okay, I want to send this guy to you. So let's read. Okay, so what is the first one, guys? The first ad, the per personality, ambitious, ambitious, reliable. What are the opposites? Unreliable. Okay, number three. Honest. Honest. Number four. Dishonest. Number four. Number four. Punctual. 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 Very good. Number five. Competent. Think of somebody as you as you go through this. Start thinking of, of of people around you that you can actually put a name and an adjective together. Okay, very good. And we're gonna do a little practice right now. As a matter of fact, okay, I'm gonna put you in the groups. Okay, all right. And to and just so before we do that, okay, let me see what how um, what adjectives you know. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm gonna send this presentation to you. Okay, how would you write an adjective? For the following definitions, okay? Caesar, can you do the first one? Okay. Someone who always arrives on time is punctual. Punctual. Very good. Punctual. That's right. Punctual. Okay. Right. Adriana, number two. Someone you can always come is you. Sorry. Someone you can always come on is. Uh, Count on me when you need a friend, and I hmm? will be. i sorry. Reliable. <laughs> Someone you can always count on is. Always? Yes. Reliable. Reliable. Thank you. I ask everybody who we all need somebody who is reliable. Okay. Who do you rely on, or who is reliable? Don't answer, just think about that person. Okay. Mr. Herbert, number three. Someone who doesn't like to work hard is uh, I'm going for lazy again. Lazy, uh, what, okay, who doesn't like to work is lazy, very good. Today I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Okay. Very good. All righty. Erica, number four. Someone who doesn't give up easily is. Doesn't give up easily. Give up easily. Very good. Give up Someone easily. Doesn't give up easily is ambitious. A stingy or. Okay, I like that. Who said that? Uh, ambitious. Someone who doesn't give up is easily is. Give up is what is a, a phrase of verb? Give up is a phrase of verb. What is the meaning of how can you put give up in simple words? Give up is, as we say in Spanish, tira la toalla, surrender. Someone who doesn't give up easily is. Okay. Yeah, that could be. Uh, ambitious. Very good. Perseverant or ambitious. Very good. Perseverant is not there, but very good. Perseverant. Perseverant or ambitious. Very good. Okay. Good one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Miss Navarro, next one, number five. Someone who always does everything right is. Um, it's not there. It, it could be someone, um, the one that is there, or you can come up with your own if you don't know. Is that a, res a responsible person? Who does everything right could be responsible. responsible. Very good. Or also, competent. I'm sorry? Competent. 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 Very good. And to a certain point, right? Could be a bit of a perfect. Perfectionist. Very good. Perfectionist. That's correct. Perfectionist. Very good. So more adjectives. Very good. Okay. Mr. Cuevas, number six. 
We did number six, right? Sorry, it's the same one. That's yes. number two. So number seven. Number seven. Someone who tells lies is mm, irresponsible. Maybe. Yes. Or liar. On liar. Liar. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Liar. Like mm -hmm. the movie Liar Liar. Remember the movie Jim Carrey? Yeah. Like yes. Liar Liar. Or for those, oh, yes, that, for those of you that have several years, like more, you want to know this song. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. <laughs> I wasn't born. I've heard it. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Someone who tells you lies. Very good. Okay. Someone who works the like, like you, like me, like everybody. Very good. Okay. I work hard, working hard for the money. Didn't, didn't. Workaholic. 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 Huh? Yeah. Someone workaholic. Workaholic. Okay. Very good. Can be also responsible. Very good. Okay. And Mr. Jose Armando, number nine. The fun. So, someone, someone who is artistic and imagina, imaginative is a uh, Imaginative. Imaginative. Very good. Imaginative. Imaginative. It's a creative. It's a creative person. Creative person. That's right. Creative person. Okay. Very good. So I'm pretty sure for each of these adjectives, you can put someone. You can put someone's name there, or you can put your name there. Very good. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop sharing the screen, and we're gonna make some discussion. Okay, to take advantage of this. So, with what adjectives did we just look? Can you re can you tell them to me? Uh, randomly, it doesn't matter. Okay, which ones did we see? Okay, competent. What else? Loyal. 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 Reliable. 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 Very good. Reliable. What else? Liar. Liar. Conscious. Loyal, confident, 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 that's a verb, confident. Huh? an adjective, not as a verb, confident, uh-huh, okay, some are good, some are bad, right, mm -hmm. yes, very good, okay, good one, all right, let me share my screen, give me one minute, let me share my screen, okay, I'm going to share my screen and let me know, okay? Chau. Me volteo a ver. We're going to do a discussion, guys. We're going to, I'm going to get you in. I'm going to put you in groups, okay? We're going to do a little discussion, okay? We're going to do a discussion. And this will be personal character. Not personal. Okay, can you tell me if you can? I want to send this question to you, okay? Very good. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, personality yeah. discussion, okay? We're just going to do the first, not all of them because there are a lot of questions, but the ones that we can actually. Me? All right, the first question. Can you read it, please? What are some characteristics of your personality? Very good, of your personality. I am happy, I am shy, very good. And you know yourself better than others, okay? Very good. Number two. You can help me. What makes you happy? What makes you happy, okay? What makes you happy, okay? I'm gonna give you time. So I'm just gonna, to save time, I'm just gonna go over the questions Then you're going to discuss, okay? Number three, what are some things that make you angry? Sure. What's your temper? Da, da, da. Okay. 
Number four, Mr. Franco, would you like to be different or would you like to, oh, because you're always so Franco, right? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Would you like to be different? Okay. Are you happy with your personality? Are you happy with your personality? Very good. Okay. Next one. Yes, I am. Okay, good. We're <laughs> going to discuss that. Okay. Next one. Are you a determined person or you a, repeat everybody, stubborn? Stubborn. Not stubborn. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stubborn is somebody who says, this is why this is the way I think, and nobody's going to change my mind. Nobody's going to change my opinion. Yes. Do you understand the, the meaning of stubborn? Yeah. Obstinado. Yes, yes. Obstinado. Oh, Nobody's going to change my mind. But I, that's it. Okay. What I say is it. Okay. Stubborn. Okay. Stubborn. stubborn. Correct. Are you shy? In which occasion are you shy? Okay. Are you okay. shy? Next one. Is your person that, uh, do you consider yourself selfish? Stubborn and selfish are similar. Son parecidos. Stubborn is somebody who is actually, in this case, okay, eh, rela reluctant to cambiar su punto de vista. And then in this case, selfish is somebody who's like, only thinks about me, 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 me. I don't, I don't care about my neighbor. I don't care about my, I'm thinking. Egocentric. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. Egoista. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Do you cons is your personality suited? Who can give me the translation of the word suited to you? Um, Very good. Exactly. Mejor. Very good. Is your personality suited to your job? Yes, because I'm shy or this and that. Okay. okay. And we're just gonna do two more. I'm gonna give you time to discuss, okay? And the next one, in what ways has your personality changed? Maybe before you were single, now you're married, now you're angry, now you're all the time angry. Or all the time. <laughs> in what ways has your personality <laughs> changed? Or are you more responsible? Why has it changed? Okay. All right. And the last one, because I want to give you time. So I'm going to have five minutes, guys, because we have almost at the time. Are you more introverted? Focus on your inner world or more extroverted, focus on other people in outer world. Okay, that's kind of a complex question, but basically is are you focused in the inner or external? Okay. All right. And the last one, which I like. Do you think you can change a major characteristic of your personality if you, if you try? Algo que ustedes pudieran cambiar que quisieran de su personalidad si intentan, for example, okay? For example, maybe you are too friendly or, no, not friendly, let's think of something, okay? From a huachapan, an example, right? What is, the, what, is the per, what is the stereotype that people have if they say you're from a huachapan? Stingy, right? <laughs> it's stingy, just a joke, it's stingy. Right? Yes. Maybe you want to be so much of that and you want to actually be more generous. Very good, okay? Good one, okay? So can you see the questions? I'm gonna take a screenshot and send it to you, okay? These questions, okay? And I'm gonna go back to the group and I'm gonna put you in pairs. I'm gonna give you four or five minutes to discuss, okay? Questions? Hello, guys? No questions. No questions. I'm going to discuss the questions no. and I'm going to be coming around and listen to you, okay? Let's go. Yeah. Guys, tienen unas preguntas? Sorry, guys. Let me, let me, ya voy a, let me, I'm going to come back. Yo creo que no todos están en un grupo. Thank <laughs> you. 
we could start discussing Vanessa uh, okay. until the other person enter to no, the group. It's, only, what group it's going to be only the two of us, right? I'm going to put you in a group right now. Don't worry. Hello. Hello, hello. Are you in a group? Only me in this group. Okay, I'm gonna change it right now. I'm just gonna send I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna send the um thank you the pictures that I just took. Okay. Or the or the for the practice. So in this case, can you do you remember the first question? Um what are some ca characteristics of your personality? Very good. What are some characteristics of your personality? Uh, I am quiet <laughs> and introverted. Okay. But I am responsible. Okay. Uh, methodical. Okay. And sometimes angry. Wow. <laughs> Interest. What, what, what makes you angry? Um, when the people is impatient or intolerant okay. in, in, uh, in the job, okay. sometimes. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to change you to then to, 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 to one of the groups, okay? Very good, okay? Okay. I'm going to send you there. I'm going to send you to, to the group, okay? Give me one minute. Um, respectful, uh, but sometimes I am uh, I'm angry, angry, and stressy easily. Um, only. <laughs> yeah, I can compare to that. Okay. Okay. okay so you say you're going to do. Yeah, the number four. The number four is: Are you happy with your personality? Yeah, for sure. Um, um, I think that we are a person who who is like growing up with the time, with the, with the knowledge and the accomplishment that your life gets. So I think that's a process that you earn, like all those uh knowledge so yes I'm, I'm happy with my personality i think or maybe i live with like a code that you can do whatever you want to do in your life until like you don't even danger like the people who is around you so life is really there are a lot of freedom you can do whatever you want but just be careful don't hurt the people who love you and who is around you. Yeah, I'll start with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the next one is, would you like to be different? Well, sometimes 
I wish I could be more, I don't know, more, more sociable because since when I am with a really kind of people, I, I tend to know, to not know what to say or what to talk to someone. So I wish I could be more sociable in that area. And that's it. Okay, Susanna, you'd like the next one? Okay. Um, are you a determined person? Are you a stubborn person? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Uh, something uh, only when I am sure <laughs> or I am correct in that will be helpful for someone or some something something only It's a, a small thing. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, for example, I am in third cycle in the media. Uh, I have a different kind of students. Educame. You work with the Educame program. Yes. Okay, nice. Good. Do you like your job? Do you like what you do? Yes, I, I like my job because I like to teach English or another subject. And I, I learn uh, a lot of knowledge too. I share my knowledge with another uh, people. And I am very, very, uh, okay. very, say very satisfied, very, uh, very right. rewarding. You are very, right. very, I, very good. You feel very grateful, very, okay, very, yes, very. Relax, okay, very grateful. Many adjectives, good job, okay. Okay guys, let's finish, or someone's gonna be thank good job, very good. Mm -hmm. Has everybody participated, Cesar, Julio, Erica, yes? Yes. Okay, good job, okay. Yes. All right. Fifty-eight seconds, guys. Continue. Continue practice, and we're almost finished. Okay. But I, I only in the in this room. Right now. I'm alone. Yes. Right now, Mr. Cuevas, or the whole, just right now, or before. Right now. Oh, okay, got you. Yes, I'm taking everybody out. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Cuevas. Okay. We're gonna be. We still have our 28 seconds. Mm -hmm before we go back with everybody, okay? Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, okay. Uh, he's back. I don't want to work tomorrow. All right, <laughs> okay, so the I want to send the, you have the questions. Did you have time to discuss the questions amongst each other? Most of them, some of them? Like five of them. Okay, very good. There are many questions. So I want to send those questions to the group and I'm going to send also the, okay, the, the, the exercise. And also remember to work on the platform. You can do the audio that we skipped. That way you have time to do the platform on your own. Practice with different personalities that we saw. Okay, so today we talked about different personalities and personality traits and adjectives. For example, just five before we go, guys, because it's time already. Okay, so we have confident. What else? Reliable. Reliable. What else? Res responsible. 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 What else? Confident. Trustful. Very good. And trustful. Very good. Loyal. 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 That's right. Okay. Liar. <laughs> liar. Okay, liar, liar. Bye right, guys, work on the platform. If you have any questions, write me on the group. Mike, I've, I didn't hear your voice. Mike, do you still have internet issues? Well, I didn't hear some of you, but I heard mostly everybody, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, see you when I see you.
see you for the next class tomorrow or I believe on Monday, all right? Monday, I think. Monday. Monday. Have a good Monday. It's going to be for, for the next Monday, right? Because the next week is vacation. Stay, stay on, that's right. Stay on the- Do, do we have class tomorrow? Very good, we'll write to the group, okay? Do we have going. class tomorrow? Okay. I'm gonna write in the group. I think not, but let me let's let's check the details, okay? Okay. 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 See you. Yeah. Good night. Next, next, next good night. Friday. Next. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.